turn to your right and address your neighbor with a friendly, how do you do, charm to meet you. And now to your left, please. How do you do, charm to meet you. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Miss Martindale's Charm School, where today we are honored to have the esteemed Moda All-Stars in our presence. Now let's begin with a little audience drill warm-up. Repeat after me. I have some people who need to help me with their signs. Please come up front. Now repeat after me. You might have remembered Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady. You need to use that accent. The pain. The pain of running out of fabric again, again. is mainly, mainly why I don't refrain. <laughs> and there should have been a response from some people saying, from buying more. Let's try it one more time. You can say the whole phrase, not just the word they show you, it's just a cue. Ready? The pain of running out of fabric again yeah. is mainly yeah. why I don't refrain. Why I don't refrain. Oh. There we go. Now we're all warmed up. Now students, there's a reason you all find yourselves in charm school today. You have exhibited a fondness for five inch squares. And as it is graduation season, today we are welcoming the graduates of Miss Martindale's Lucky Charm School Quilters, who've exhibited excellence in not only their sewing and design skills, but also in their social posture and balance skills as well. As with any graduation, please conduct yourselves in accordance with all the appropriate responses, cheers, whistles, and catcalls. I mean accolades. <laughs> As they share with you their projects from the latest Moda Martindale book release, Lucky Charm Quilts, 17 Delightful Patterns for Pre-Cut 5-Inch Squares. All right. Our first graduate is Lori Simpson of the esteemed Minigan Simpson clan. <laughs> Lori is sharing her tea time quilt made with a single charm pack. It's a cheerful checkered quilt in a classic combination of red, cream, and blue. Following behind Lori is Princess Charming, and she has on her scroll Lori's favorite charm school rule, always hand quilt in a comfy chair with your feet propped up. <laughs> Very important rule. Our second finishing school graduate is none other than Lisa Bonji of Primitive Gatherings, and her escort, who else but Prince, P-R-I-N-T-S, Charming. <laughs> Everyone knows an essential charm school rule is to be kind to others and do unto them as you would have them do unto you. Lisa took that rule to heart with friends forever. Just one charm pack is all it takes to make a pair of coordinating mini quilts, one to keep and one to give a treasured friend. Embellish the corner of the quilt with a touch of wool applique and a sweet embroidered sentiment that says, forever friends, and you're on your way. Now Lisa's favorite charm school advice, Lisa, you may go down the aisle, <laughs> slowly and very ladylike, like you learned in charm school from Miss Martingale. Lisa's favorite charm school advice is to put a sleeve on every quilt. You never know when it will become wall art. Thank you, Princess Charming. Waste not, want not was the mantra of our next all-star, Miss Sherry McConnell. You will see Sherry's got some excellent balancing skills. <laughs> able to balance a pair of scissors points down on her head. Her Simply Charm table runner uses exactly 40 charm squares. Basic half square triangles are all you need to create the striking diagonal stripe design on this quick and easy runner. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Don't let those scissors drop on your way down the aisle. <laughs> and Sherry's favorite charm school rule, press the binding away from the quilt center after attaching it and beforehand stitching it. 
so you get a nice sharp edge. Our next designer is unable to be here today, so we do have a stand-in escorted again by Prince Charming, such a dapper young man to be doing this for Miss Martingale. With a name like Kansas Troubles Quilters, you might not expect to find a lovely lady like Lynn Hagmeyer at the helm. But she served up this sweet holiday table runner using her clever layered patchwork technique. If you haven't tried her technique, now's the time to stop procrastinating and get on it. I predict you'll love the time it saves you and the results. A single charm pack is all that stands between you and completing this project. And Lynn's favorite charm school rule, perfect your technique for continuous binding. You'll get a flat, even finish every time. We have another guest presenter taking a couple of hot topics, braids and hexagons, and pairing them together for hexagon braids wall hanging. Designer Jenny Doan of Missouri Star Quilt Company created a complex of Princess Charming, what is going on? <laughs> Evidently, Jenny Standen, Miss Lisa Alexander, has taken a page out of Sherry McConnell's book and learned to balance colored handled scissors on her bed, adding a degree of complexity. So, using half hexagon shape and an easily repeated stacking process, the hexagon pattern on hexagon braid is designed to fit perfectly on a charm square, so cutting is a breeze. Jenny sends her regrets for not being able to attend today's festivities, but she did share her favorite charm school rule, which is enjoy the journey and go at your own pace. It appears Miss Alexander has had experience marching down the aisle, because did you see that lovely, like, two steps pause, two steps pause. <laughs> She is like postgraduate at Miss Martingale's charm school. <laughs> All right, Miss Martingale did wonder if she should take exception to the title of this next quilt, Two Pack Buzz. <laughs> By Barb Girls and Mary Jacobson of Me and My Sister Design. But upon further investigation, when you combine two charm packs of cheerful prints and buzz saw blocks, you end up with a cute as can be throw and a better understanding of the quilt's name. As Miss Martingale says, never judge a book by its cover. Well, maybe do, but don't judge a quilt by its name. <laughs> what these sisters love most about working with charm packs is that you get at least one of every print in a collection in an affordable bundle. <laughs> well said, ladies. Barb and Mary's favorite charm school rule, it's okay if your points don't match as long as you're having fun. Yahoo! And really, did you ever think you'd like to see the day where someone could balance a ruler on their head? Like that way? Impressive. All right, next up, add two parts charm and one part sweetness to equal the engaging personality of the scrappy Christmas table runner designed by Ann Sutton, who can't be here today, of Bunny Hill. So Corey Yoder is graciously marching this down the aisle. The small scale hourglass blocks are reminiscent of tasty Christmas candies and the scrappy inner and outer borders and binding make certain you'll use up the lion's share of two charm packs for this quilt. Anne's favorite charm school rule, be sure to use the charm that stands out in a pack. It adds interest. No one's to be left out in this Martingale school. All right. Looks like Prince Charming is back for another return engagement. <laughs> this time with none other than Carla Eisenach, who's one third of the design trio that is Sweetwater. She stitched an eye-catching striped quilt from two charm packs in the timeless color combination of black, red, and cream. All right, Carla, show your stuff. <laughs> Wait, maybe Miss Martingale wouldn't say that. Carla, please. Share your latest creation with our audience. <laughs> Much more refined. This is hard, people. The vertical rows are fast and fun to piece, so the quilt top comes together in a, in a flash. If Carla had to pick a lucky charm out of the charm pack, she says she'd choose one that is a little bold, a show-off. I won't say what school she learned that in, but it wasn't Miss Martin Gills. <laughs> Carla's favorite charm school rule, think of binding as a frame on your piece of art. All right, next up, this next charm school graduate might have had taken a tumble or two, but you'll see how <laughs> refined she's gotten in her skills as she prances down the aisle. Designer Pat Sloan is at her most charming when she's teaching others to quilt. 
All blocks point west in Pat's playful triangle themed quilt. Combine two charm packs of scrappy green, blue, and red prints with a fun and simple polka dot background. She used the same two colors and prints in the piece sections of most blocks. And to get the best use out of the charm pack, she also made scrappy blocks. Pat notes that a charm pack is an amazing design unit that when paired with a blender, will make 84 half square triangle units. In turn, those can become a zillion different quilt designs. Pat's favorite charm school rule, dotted fabrics make friends with all the others. In doubt, choose a dot. All right, this person appears to be wanting to suck up to Miss Martingale with her headdress. <laughs> <clears throat> but we'll let that slide and let her come on in just to see how well she balances because she's got Prince Charming on her arm. Here we go, two charm packs and a combination of reds, blacks, and tan prints, plus a striking hourglass block design makes for a simple yet dramatic design on Kathy Designer Schmidt's 50-inch square throw. Look at that low curtsy, that's impressive. <laughs> at this hour of the day, very nice. Now, it's perfectly sized throw for cozying up on a chilly autumn evening. Now, Miss Martingale has a completely different set of rules for that sort of thing, but we won't go down that path today. When asked what works like a charm for her every time, Kathy answered, asking my mom to come and help me. This works best if I supply her with desserts. <laughs> Sweet idea, Kathy. Her favorite charm school rule, it's okay to be left out. Leftover charms make great pin cushions. Keep that in mind. She couldn't be with us today, but we found a surrogate to sashay down the aisle. No, we do have that one. We must not have the quilt of the person. I had a different Sandy in mind, but you come right on ahead. <laughs> Sandy Clock charms the quilting world as American Jane. What charms her most about charm packs is that you don't have to cut them. Such a time saver. Bright polka dots dance across the patchwork in this cheerful quilt. To make the eye-catching mitered borders, choose a coordinating border print and fussy cut the sections you like best for your design. Sandy's favorite charm school rule, sing your own song. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All righty. Come on in, Prince Charming. Here, I believe, is... Definitely a silver bit. Let me see what you've got. Show me your stuff. All right. This is my other Sandy. She couldn't be with us today, but we found a surrogate to sashay down the aisle. And look at his fascinator. It's fascinating. Sandy is one of Moda's original lucky charms. She's been a fabric designer with Moda for more than 22 years. Using two charm packs and soft pastel shades, Sandy used a folded corner technique to make the center blocks and all the scraps to create a coordinating pieced border. Her tip that works like a charm every time, pin and press. Sandy says, I need both. Her favorite charm school rule, getting it done is more important than perfection. Here, here. That was some solid bowing to one another at the center. I mean, total perfection. Ms. Martin's gonna hire you too, but only if you wear the fascinator. Okay, next up, Thelma and Louise. I mean, Tammy Vonderschmidt and her cohort designer for this was Carrie Nelson. Both of the magical meeting of the motor makers' minds joined forces to create tire tracks using three charm packs and a crossweed to set off the patchwork. Simplicity in both color palette and layout gives this easy quilt its gentle beauty. Thank you. <laughs> The scrappy piece rows are balanced by the faded red crossweave cotton that adds subtle texture, blue stripe binding, and a beautiful Baptist fan quilting design add the special finishing touch. Their favorite charm school rule, it's fabric, not brain surgery. <laughs> Have fun, make mistakes, and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. And don't forget to add a label. All right. Wow, she's come a long way for charm school graduation, and she's getting a little dicey by balancing a rotary cutter on her head. She had to sleep on it to come up with her Lucky Charm project idea, but they must have been sweet dreams because designer Jen Kingwell's pillow cover project is a showstopper. Three charm packs, and you've got yourself a cover that will brighten any seat in the house. Jen hand-pieced the intricate blocks for accuracy, but you can piece them by machine if you prefer. 
Take a closer look and you'll see it looks harder than it is. It's really just five horizontal rows of hexagons. Jen suggests making the project a portable one by cutting out the pieces and packing them in a project bag to take on the go. Now why three packs for the pillow cover? Because Jen made a patchwork back for her pillow cover using 30 charm squares. Brilliant. In the Aussie spirit, I like to say Jen is charming. <laughs> Jen's favorite charm school world, learn to play nicely with lots and lots of others, even if they are the squares at Quilter's Charm School. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we think you'll be all abuzz about this next quilt, Beehive by artist Deb Strain. She's the queen when it comes to drawing beautiful illustrations for her fabric collections. Her quilt is as sweet as honey made from three yellow and black bumblebee print charm packs. She carried through the theme with a neighborhood of busy beehives alternating with honeycomb rows. Here's what works like a charm for Deb. Listen carefully, this might be on the test. I have a glass of wine in the evening as I'm picking out color combinations. <laughs> it helps me to relax and not rush the process of putting colors and patterns together. Great way to spend the evening. I feel like some of you charm school students might need some time this evening, not rushing through color and pattern mixing process, right? You could let me know tomorrow if you worked on it. Deb's favorite charm school rule, color adds dimension and interest. It's all about color combinations. This looks just like Bonnie Olufsen. Come please, come on in. <laughs> Make a fanciful flock of geese flying this way and that. Bonnie's flight might not have arrived on time, but her quilt is here. Bonnie is from Cottonway and half of the Bonnie quilt. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm distracted from my script. I can't believe it. Between Bonnie and Prince Charming, uh, Bonnie is half of the design team for Bonnie and Camille Fabric with Moda and also the head of Cottonway Design. She combined a variety of charm squares with a white background to add cohesion to the overall look on her flying geese throw. What works like a charm every time for Bonnie is, listen carefully, this could also be on the test, chocolate. It's what she calls her vitamin C. C is for creativity. She never starts her creating process without a little chocolate close by. As for a quilt tip, press each seam after it's sewn. I think this is a very important part of getting a good result. I love my steam iron and I couldn't piece without it, Bonnie says. Her favorite rule, high contrast is the key. Avoid charms that are too blendy with the background. All right, for the big finish, quilt number 17. How many charm packs <laughs> does it take to make a village? Just three, would you believe it? <laughs> Designer Janet Clare's Little Village Big Woods is a quaint applique country village nestled with a forest of oak and pine trees. Quick to piece patchwork, she can curtsy and keep that pincushion on her head. It's a little Christmas miracle. <laughs> Quick to piece patchwork borders surround the fusible applique and it means you have your town built in no time. Janet uses her machine drawing technique to free motion stitch around the edge of each shape. If Janet taught quilters charm school, she says she teach her students to make a note of the day they started a quilt and the date they finished it saying, these dates are often quite far apart in my experience. <laughs> then she'd stitch a lovely label, adding these dates and other information as you can, along with a personal message. Quilt your heirlooms and your family will want to know these things in the years ahead. Janet's favorite charm school rule, there's always one charm in the pack that doesn't fit. Set it aside until you find the perfect use for it. So I'd like all of our graduates to come up to the front. And while they're doing that, uh, I'm certain that satellite charm school sites will be opening up around the country. <laughs> you are welcome to use any of Mar Ms. Martingale's tools and techniques for your classes. Uh, if you'd like to meet Ms. Martingale in person, you should come to booth 2140 where you can order copies of Lucky Charm Quilts for your shop. Or you can go to the Moda United Notions booth, which is in the 1000 aisle, and you can also get copies there. Uh, as we gather business cards, have we done that? Do we have, here comes Miss Sheila down the aisle collecting cards for Miss Martingale. There will be prizes at the end. We'd be pleased to make your acquaintance in our booth. Many of these designers will also be in the Martingale booth. Miss Martingale thanks all. <laughs> exactly. See, you can tell who the real graduates are and who the posers are, right? 
we're thankful nonetheless for your participation. If it pleases you, we're collecting those. Are we, are we got all the cards?